Hello and good afternoon. Um, this morning was very unproductive, I am ashamed to say. Um, that's just how it goes sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, as I said, this afternoon, this evening rather, is the RHP Christmas dinner up at Warren House, which is very nice. I'll try and film as much as I can show you of Warren House, because as always, it's a, it's very nice looking. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlogmas. Well, it might look beautiful out again today, but it is very cold, unsurprisingly. Um, I'm actually taking the slow way into Kingston this, this afternoon for the meal, just so I can sit on the bus and get up to date with the serial podcast. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but um, it is very addictive indeed. It's also one of the very few heavily hyped pieces of media that's actually as good as the hype. Um, I wouldn't take my word for it. I never would. I'd listen to it, make up your own mind, but I enjoy it. It's fantastic. Um, and having made a couple of documentaries myself this year, I'm really getting into the idea of radio documentary making again. I know, ridiculous, not as a job, I hasten to add, but it's a very good and well-paid hobby, let's put it that way. You always need a hobby. The problem is when you turn your hobby into a job, then what's your hobby? So my old job has become my hobby and my hobby has become my new job. <laughs> it would appear that uh, Steve has taken uh, the uh, owl hunting <laughs> incredibly seriously and you will now be able to shortcut your way to owls in all of these videos by clicking the links that Steve has put below. I'm sure you're very grateful. You should thank him. I know I will. <laughs> So one of the things we've tried to do this Christmas is budget. <laughs> um, and I've spoken to a few people about this, and on the whole, it's quite a popular idea. Um, various people seem to have different solutions to it. So uh, one that I heard the other day was to do family secret Santa, which ultimately means you divide the family into couples, if that's possible, or, or groups. Um, and you uh, play Secret Santa so everybody picks a random name out of a hat and that's the per the group or the couple or whatever that they buy for. So each person only buys one gift and each person only receives one gift and that's a very good way of still having the whole, you know, present exchange thing but without the absurd budgets that go with it. And it means that you don't necessarily need to set um, too low a price limit. I mean, you, you, you could set something quite high or, or none at all if you're feeling quite brave. The other option is to just set a flat out cash limit for presents, which is what myself and Crystal have tried to do because in the previous years it's got, well, it's got crazy out of control. So this year we've tried to set uh, a limit um, for each other anyway of £70. Now, that might seem, if you live in the north, that might seem a lot. <laughs> um, if you live in London, that might seem ridiculously low. Um, and, and it is a bit more of a challenge, but but I'd recommend it. I I, I do think that um, it's sensible. There's no, you know, especially when you get to a point, as we have, where there's not really a huge abundance of things we want. So it really is the thought that counts. And so it doesn't require, like, you know, huge gifts and you know holidays and electronic goods and all that kind of thing and you can actually just get around to you know wrapping a couple of fun things and what have you that said still hasn't been that easy <laughs> but it's a step forward um you don't go through that kind of like where you think you've got something then you buy something else and you buy something else and you buy something else you kind of try to keep augmenting it because you think that's not enough this way because there's a cash limit you've never hit that problem um or rather you're saved uh, so so there we go that's that's um that's our version of a budget christmas um and with my parents equally they they're not keen for us to buy too much so i've actually tried making a few gifts this year as well um i always make cards and i always make everyone a calendar i've tried to make um some some oils as well this year some olive cooking oils so yeah that's that those are my suggestions admittedly this might come a bit late to you but um uh, if you found this video, uh, you know, next year or the year after or Christmas is following, that would be my suggestion. Um, I would adjust the prices for inflation and I would use um, a reasonable measure like CPI <laughs> to recalculate it. One other thing to mention as we watch the sunset is that the evenings are getting lighter again. We haven't reached the shortest day, 
but uh, the actual the shortest evening is about the 12th 13th it kind of varies a little bit um, and then they start getting longer admittedly only initially by a few seconds and then um, by today it's reached about a minute longer than the shortest evening but the mornings continue to get darker until about the 6th of January which is why that the overall the shortest day is 21st of December but the good news is that the evenings are getting lighter so you know things looking up well here we are on our twice annual visit to Warren House this is Warren Road home of some absolutely ridiculous houses Probably can't see that. It's basically a castle. Um, it's a private road, which is why there's so few street lamps and you can't see anything. And houses are so wide that it takes five minutes to walk around to your neighbours. <laughs> but you know, if you've got the money, why not? great fun and uh, yes as I say just one of the start of the Christmas Hanukkah week celebrations <laughs> that's going on so thank you for watching and as you can see the Christmas lights are out in full effect those are mine slightly less impressive <laughs> uh, yes uh, thanks for watching feel free to subscribe I would appreciate it as always and I'll see you tomorrow Don't be stupid, fuck.